Welcome to Crafty Kids at Kingston Libraries. My name is Debbie and I have brought my friend Mizuho along with me today because we are going to create some lovely origami animals. Nice and simple ones. We're going to make a, a pig, a goldfish and a rabbit. So would you like to help us make these? I hope so. The instructions are very easy and we're going to start right now. Okay. So we're going to start with making a pig. To do that, you need a piece of square paper or origami. Origami has right side and wrong side. Light side of origami has color and wrong side of paper origami is white. If you don't have origami paper, don't worry. You can just cut a paper in square and you can join us. So all the sides are equal. Eat. So all the sides are equal. Yes. Yeah. All Excellent. Right. Let's start. Okay, we're going to start by placing the light side of the paper down and place it so it looks like a diamond shape and then fold the paper in half by bringing the bottom tip up to meet the top tip like this and do a nice firm fold yeah. in the bottom with your fingers Open the paper and we're going to fold the paper in half again, but this time from left to right. Like this. Mm -mm. Sorry, I'm, I'm here. Sorry. No, yeah, that's. Oh, oh. oh yes. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you're leading this, Missy, huh? Not me. Okay. And let's open again. And here you see this plus line here. And next, we're going to fold the light tip to the centre. Is easy to find since we've yeah. got a cross. And let's do the same on the left. Like that. Good. Okay. Let's fold the paper in half again by bringing the bottom tip up to the top tip. To the top tip. So again, it's looking a bit like an envelope, isn't yeah. it? Like opened envelope. Just pressing right. everything down again. Perfect. Turn it around. And let's make a pig snap. Ah. Fold the bottom tip up. Both tips or just one Both tip? Both tips. Both tips, yes. okay. Alright. Great. And take one piece of paper and fold it down. I think I've made, that. I think I've made mine a little bit small, so I'm just going to unfold it and redo it. Yeah, that's better. So it's kind of rich, it meets the line across there, mm. which is better. Excellent. And then just fold that side part. Yeah, like so. Looking good. Alright, that's a pig snout. Let's make a pig ears now. So fold the right tip down to make the ear. Alright, 
let's do the same on the other side it's nice and easy new image okay that's big ears now we just have to okay. draw a face add some personality to a little piece gonna draw some eyes Here's his snout. Very cute. And you can add eyebrows if you want to. Oh, I can add your eyebrows too. Hmm. And now we've got our three little pigs. Off they go. <laughs> I hope the big bad wolf isn't around. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got something else we're going to do. What's yeah. our next? What's our next creation? Is he making a fish now? Oh, cool. All right, let's start. So it's going to look like this. Okay. Fish, it's going to look like this. All the fish are swimming in the water. Hmm. Okay. Place our origami paper like this. Just like we did with the pig. Yeah, just like we did it with the pig. And fold the paper in half. To the point closest to you, to the yeah. point furthest away from you. And a nice firm crease at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's open the paper up and fold the light tip over just a little bit. About, About a, yeah, two centimeter maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then fold the paper in half again. So far, so good. Yeah, you're doing well, Debbie. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Must be my good teacher that's that's teaching me. Right. Now let's take the top tip of paper, fold them down. Does it start looking like a fish? Not really? No. Maybe? <laughs> <laughs> okay, turn it over. We're going to make fish tail by fold, folding light side of paper up like so. Yeah, it's great. Mine looks a little bit different to yours, but yeah, that's okay. Flip this over. There you go, that's a fish. Oh, there we are. Easy. <laughs> so again, we'll add an eye. Yeah. And maybe a happy, happy smiley face. And then we could add some gills as well. I'm going to add some eyelashes to my fish. Yeah. Yeah, and all those right. fish can swim in the water. Have fun swimming in the water. There we go. Right. Oh, two down. We've got one more to go, haven't we, Missy Ho? Yeah. This is a bit more complicated, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to just grab the sample there? We yes, can show everybody. Course. There we are. Look at that. We are going to make a light. Oh, it's got very cute ears, hasn't it? Yes. Alright, let's start by placing the right side of the paper down. So we've done that for each of them now, haven't yes. we? Yes. Okay. Fold the paper in half to make a triangle like we did last time. Fold it in half again, but yeah. this time from left to right, like so. I'm trying to make sure the points are, are even mm -hmm. and overlapping properly. Nice firm nice crease. Right. Okay. Fold the bottom up 
for about one centimeter. It doesn't be exactly, does it? No, it doesn't have to be exact. You get like a little sailor's hat, yes, isn't it? it does, Very cute. It? But it's not going to be a sailor's okay. hat. Okay. So fold the light tip of the paper up. In the center. Yeah, All in the center line. Fold in the center line. And I imagine we do the yeah. same on the left. Yes, that's right. <laughs> You're getting hang of it. Yes, I'm getting the hang yes. of it. Slowly but surely. Alright. And try to get the um, ears even. Great. And then let's fold the light tip. This is creating the face. Yes, of the creating the face. I'm and getting ahead of yeah. myself here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I was the expert. <laughs> Do the same, Do on, the the same on the other side. Do the same on the other side. And fold the bottom Ooh. peak as well. Let's flip this over. Oh, very cute. There we are. And then take the top tip and fold it over. You can see more of the ears then, won't we? Yeah. Like so. Bend the ears if we like. You can have one floppy ear. We could call this little Peter Rabbit with one floppy ear, couldn't we? But we need to add some personality to the rabbit, don't we? Yes, let's so. draw a face. So. Good to start off with the eyes. And then you can work out where to put the little nose, the little twitchy nose. The eyes can have a little cunning smile because I think he's eaten. Some carrots from Mr. Yeah. McGregor's garden. He's very pleased with himself. Get some little eyebrows as well. There we are. Now that was so much fun, Missy Ho. Uh -huh. I look forward to the next origami animals we, we're going to make at another time. Uh -huh. There we are. So we've got our yeah. three, three little rabbits. Flopsy, Molly, Molly. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, and Peter. Here we are. Oh, there we are. Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter Rabbit. Easy ho, I'm sure we'll be able to teach you some other origami animals, maybe a little bit more complicated mm -hmm. ones next time. So, bye bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. See ya. Bye. bye.